I'm gonna lie. I'm all set. I'm 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 solely over this shit, B. I'm all set on the fucking internet grifters and motherfuckers selling courses and your little fucking give me half the information and tell me you got an eighty five dollar course for your real estate or your this or your that or your stocks or your crypto. Or you gonna teach me this? Or you gonna... man, you bum ass niggas that have literally never made a dollar doing any of this shit that you claim to be a guru about and you selling courses and you. It's just so fucking fake, you new internet grifter niggas, B. You niggas is bum. Yo, we back, we back, we back. What's up? We gonna get into the the to, to the to the the, the, the illest, most tragical shit of the year. It's been a lot of fucked up shit. So we gotta start the, the we cause the, you know the ship the fucked up shit be so heavy that you gotta get that shit out the way. So we get into the most tragic shits of the year. Like who went out the who what was the nastiest vibe of the year? You know what I'm saying? Me personally I'm gonna go for DMX. I didn't expect DMX checking out. That shit was pretty gross. You know what I'm saying? You know what I think I am unlike everyone. I'm like y'all didn't see this shit coming? I'm, I don't I'm really, sorry, but I, god damn. I, I'm gonna be real. I seen I saw DMX in the club like three weeks before he, he died. And I didn't he didn't look like a nigga that was addicted to drugs to me. Like Who he was does? But he wasn't skinny enough and enough and enough. You sound crazy right now. He was Gucci. Okay, what okay, um buddy from the wire. Like what's his name? Michael uh Michael K? Yes. He didn't look like he was a We ain't seen him in a while. I don't man, know what I was seen looking, him. He was shooting right now. He, he was shooting a show or movie. Most addicts don't look like an addict. Like it, They don't have a look to them. You got your extremist people who are crackheads. But at the end of the day, people who are take, popping these pills... They look good. They they mix and shit. Yeah, my man got a bad batch. I'm sorry for him, bitch. Let me tell nasty. you, when it comes to DMX, I personally... I'm su- I'm surprised he lived this long. Cause homeboy was Damn. he was he was risking it all for years. He was living a wild lifestyle. But you know when a nigga lived that wild for that long, and then you see him like cleaned up, moving kind of calmly. Like I seen a nigga in a club. He wasn't high. He was he was chilling. Like you know what I'm saying like, and you, you it just seemed like when you when you see a nigga chilling, you don't expect it that for when be when he check out. Usually, you be like, all right, he been wild in time for him to check out. You know I, what I'm I mean, saying? I dig it, but uh, no. Because when it happened, <laughs> like, for me, I was like, damn. I mean, it, it was, I, I think it was baffling for me because I'm like, why are people acting so surprised? Like, this is not a person who has had any constant sobriety. He's yeah. always been ebb and flow with that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And so, I feel like he was constantly rushing roulette with his life. And finally, you can't keep playing with life and thinking like it just this is the outcome mm. so i was just like r.i.p but y'all let's not play like so you shoulder shrug dmx shit you wasn't feeling her shit like that yeah you ain't you like that shit ain't hit your chest at all no. shoulder shrug for that check nigga. out my social media you ain't i ain't getting you ain't <laughs> no, no r.i.p's for me i mean i'm saying all right he he did a lot you don't want culture. him to be dead enough yes. but you like bro come on i'm not really like you mean no, i got too I'm, much for your death i'm not doing that you know so which one? So who shit fucked you up? Who, who, who? Which one of these tragical stories of the year fucked you up? Oh my God, Virgil. Yeah, that was wild. My God, like, you know, and I, but I respect the fact that his family kept his health to the chest and they were private about it. But that just that was baffling to me. You know, as a person who is dabbling into fashion with my business partners and you respect what he's doing and it just it just takes you aback like that was what took me like oh my god i didn't see that coming yeah you know what i'm saying i didn't see him looking quote unquote sickly he, he definitely wasn't... kept his face out the public for a while if you think about it but it may, when you start looking back on it it made sense because you stopped seeing him then we ain't seen him low key we ain't seen him since like 2019 right. low key the off white website was it was just certain things that were just were just kind of like off white definitely took a spill like you could tell the shit right the last year or so off white was not like that we gonna stand up it was something weird that was like it wasn't it wasn't strong it was a strength because like off white is for sale like I'm looking at the off white like mm, I don't like this new shit at all right and but it's, it's indicative of like what was happening to him you yeah. know what I mean and so yeah. when when the 
when the source passes, you wonder, like, are they able to sustain? So, you know, it, the, 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 still, the verdict is still out. Like, think about what Apple, you know what I'm saying? When after uh, Steve Jobs was like, all right, is Apple going to be able yeah. to sustain? Yeah. And yeah. so we, but that to me, that was the biggest uh, letdown. Uh, another biggest letdown, which you know I've been ready to talk about, is Travis Scott. Uh, his team, him, they all as a collective fucked up. Do you or do you feel like they fucked up that? You, do you they fucked up the aftermath or like in the actual moments of the shit? In the moment, and I can say that because you and the people who are listening don't know. I have been over a festival yeah i have been on a stage with massive people um i work in production yeah nigga you know when something is going down and it ain't right yeah hell we all been in parties where it was the capacity was 500 and the fire marshal come in and they shutting it down yeah. so you mean to tell me as soon as those barricades went down the person who was over there should have been like shut this shit down the lighting person should have been seeing people toppling on top of each other. Travis Scott on the stage should have been like, what the fuck? Somebody. Yeah. You don't. But they said that everything started popping off 15 minutes in and the show went an hour. Yeah. So people were tortured for 45 minutes. Yeah. That's crazy. So I feel like, no, nah, it's not just Travis Scott that need to go down. Everybody associated need to go down. Shit nasty. Have you been like? Have you looked at this shit in terms? The everything about it is demonic. We talked about this in terms of music. Like music should make you feel like yes, music should be indicative of life. But at a certain point, why is everything so negative and demonic now? I mean, but if it's on demon time, then shouldn't he be bubbling over murdering, get over murdering niggas? Like, like shouldn't he be winning off the murdering of the people? Then if it's demon time, like nah, nigga. Right now we live in a battle of light and dark. And the, the reality is that every, like, in the moment, it's it's like a drug. Yeah. It's a drug. Like DMX. You, you on that high. You feeling it. You rushed. But then when you come back to life and sobriety, you like, man, what the So fuck do you think do? Travis Scott sacrificed these niggas? That's what you're saying. Hell yeah. You're saying Travis Scott knew these niggas was dying and he kept on two stepping I think he for the was sacrifice. In a I th- no, I think he was in a trance. Because they talk about that trance, and I will say, when you get on the stage and you have that type of control, none of us can even relate to that type of control because we've never been there. But I yeah. think there are certain people who have had a certain level of power, and when you get that power and that rush, you go beyond yourself. I mean, Travis has said it in his own songs. It's not a mosh pot of mosh pit if it ain't no injuries. Mm. That's in a song. It's in one of the mm. biggest songs. You've been saying that. It's, it's not a mosh pit of things on injuries. Put your finger up. You know people dying. You saying stomp on them? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if Travis said all that. No, he did. I heard it. It's, he did. He said, put your middle finger up to the sky. Uh-huh. And then he's like, now stomp. Not, like, you you see people are dying. So he is now adding insult to injury. Like, yeah, I mean. I, I... You see it. He was the biggest disappointment. And we we'll we'll talk about this later, but there is a an association that he has that feels like I, that has something to do with how he how he moves and shakes. Everybody's saying Travis is done. I'm not I, Travis. You're not done, Travis. Fuck it. You'll be back. You have more hits. Somebody's gonna bring you back. Kanye's gonna make you let you perform in Wyoming. Something's gonna shake for Travis. Watch. I think I think. The only reason why everybody's up in arms is because they're not black bodies that are dead. If this wasn't, if these were black bodies, nobody would be giving a fuck, and this man would be on to the next one. You know what? I don't even think this has anything to do with race. I think that whole that whole astro world was a hot fucking mess when you look at everything. Like yeah. again. This is supposed to be an event that is, when you think about festivals, you're supposed to be having a good ass time. It's just symbolism that I'm just like, you can't, you can't not notice that. that. Like that ain't got, the first Astro Festival, and Travis Scott has right. always had this symbolism. He did always. It did, but more power, more power. Every time, it's more power. It's you know, like I never went to. I've done festivals. I like I've gone to a few. But I just feel like now it was time to end this shit. 
it was time to come to its end and you're right they all had the same structure and the same symbolism and all of that yeah. but i feel like this went too far people be dabbling with spirituality yeah and you can god gonna he only gonna give you so much like nigga i'm about to shut you the fuck down yeah well i right. you got a point you got a strong point but now you got playboy cardi coming up you got all the, this shit is not stopping you feel me playboy cardi is taking the de demon shit to a whole nother mm. level you know what i mean playboy cardi is pumping full-blown saying satanic Satanism and his and his whole dichotomy, his whole music and his whole program and what he pushing out as far as the imagery and everything. You know what I'm saying? This shit is only going deeper and deeper and it deeper. Is. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Travis Scott is going anywhere for the long haul, temporarily. You know what I'm saying? Even even every story about oh Travis Scott got dubbed again, Travis Scott got dubbed again. That's just still keeping his name in the light though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's only a matter of time before he's done with his take a L tour. And but then his next shit is going to be bigger than life. It's going to be, this right here is a pivotal moment. Yeah. Right? How is he going to react to this? Because it's either going to help him, what track is he going to take? And every everybody has to take a track in their life. Everyone comes to that fork in the road. Yeah. Which route are you going to take in your life? Yeah. Right? And so, for instance, when you go back to like a DMX, <laughs> that nigga was on the rise when his younger days, right? And he just kept dabbling. He kept dabbling. And you can only ride that way for so long. So right now, like, the the ruling is still out on Travis Scott. How he going to come out of this? He's going to be fine. All right. As long as he don't absorb himself in drugs and alcohol. Drugs and alcohol? But he's all for one. He's Travis Scott. He loves drugs and alcohol. That's what it's, it's his thing. That's what he does. <laughs> you know what but it's like how many people yes and that's mostly like the lifestyle of a lot of celebrities i'm not saying everyone but that stuff will catch up with you yeah it might it might not we don't know all, all i know about travis scott he just put another baby inside the billionaire white bitch genius and i don't think it's over for him a couple a couple white people died at his concert yeah tragedy blah 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 I think he's gonna finesse it. I think that at the end of the day, he made a perfect sacrifice to his demon gods or whatever the mm. fuck he got going on. And I don't think that this shit, this, like everybody, they all do this shit. They do wild shit in public. They go through their, they take their L's. They do their sacrifices or whatever the fuck they be up to and they lose weird shit. Yep. And then they come back bigger than ever. It's a, it's, it's, it's locked in. He, I, I told niggas when he first, when the niggas first died, I'm like, yo, he's going to have the biggest, his next album's going to be bigger than any of his other shit ever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he sacrificed who he had to sacrifice, threw him through the portal, or whatever crazy shit that he got I'm glad you on. know. Okay, so at least we on the same page, because <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's exactly what happened. Uh, yeah. 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 He sacrificed who he had to sacrifice. He threw whoever through the portal he had to throw. Did whatever he had to do with niggas' souls. And now his next album's going to be bigger than ever. You going to listen to it? Yes. Why? Because it's not a mosh pit if it ain't no injuries, man. So, how do you, so what do you think that do for you? What does that do for you? Your soul, I'm your probably, spirit, your energy. I'm pro it's probably going to be a very negative day the next time I listen to Travis Scott's album. My next Travis Scott's next man. album. It's probably going to be a very negative day. I'm probably going to fuck around and stub my toe three times by accident. I'm just, glad you know. <laughs> just, Look, I'm glad you know But it's going to be come. fire, though. Oh, okay. It's going to be fire. That shit. That's why I don't, listen to Don I don't listen to that shit. Like, I am like, I am such an energy person. And, who, so and, who you don't listen to? Who you don't listen to? Just I got, I, look, let me tell you. When it comes to this music, music is produced at a certain hertz. Yeah. And that hertz can dictate how you feel, how you move, how you shake, how That's you the act. the 808s. Yeah, I'm not fucking with it. I just I just don't. I would much rather listen to old shit that I know make me feel good versus listen to any of this new shit that make me feel weird. Yeah. Like, I can't listen to ESTG before 2 p.m. I don't even know who the fuck that is. <laughs> yeah, see? It's certain music that you're not really like. like if you want to be a productive member of society, you're not really supposed to listen to before two, three p.m. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna have you well and out. You know. Exactly. Like Let me tell you who I will listen to all day, and I, I you know, um, yeah, like I told you, I got my little she shit playlist. It's on Apple. <laughs> uh, and so you know, on there, I, I, I fucks with Megan. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I really do. I do like Megan. That's some female shit though. Like. 
what is she talking about? Like, as a man, as a man, you you throw on a new manga. No, what are you no, hearing? No, 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 no. Like, Let me tell you what. Uh, dick, no, 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 no. But what, we, super, what I I'm said was. Eat the dick. What the fuck is she talking about? I like to, li- when I'm having a good time and I'm having, I'm kickbacking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That ain't my work music. My work music is something completely different. You can listen to Beethoven when she's talking. I, yep, nigga, I'm smart. <laughs> I'm a classy ass nigga, sophisticated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but real talk, like when I'm when I'm about to go kick it, yeah, I got Megan these. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I like the twerk. I I, oh, I do. Wait. Gas on her side. Shit, I'm, thir- I'm 36 in this bitch, and I can get down with. You know, oh, I sound old as fuck. No, a guy can get down. But yeah. um, no, but no, but like it make me feel good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm having. Yeah. A, I'm not absorbing the music in a way that I'm living that lifestyle, and I yeah. think that's the shit that when it comes to music. Have fun with it. And I think that's like back in the 90s, that's what I love the 90s about is like, we life is about balance. Life is yin and yang. Yeah. And I think that that's what kind of missing right now yeah. is that, you know, before we had just the radio, we had yeah. the MTVs, the BTs. So you did have, you know, you was watching Uncut, yeah. but you also was watching, um, what was the little sexy show that they had with, not the show, but the music videos, uh, Midnight Soul. Was that it? Oh, I have not. I, I did not. Okay, but on B on BET, Midnight Love. So oh, you have Midnight Love that came on yo, in a, scum, at twelve. Scumbags were just signing up for. All right, okay, so Midnight Love came on at I think twelve, <laughs> yeah. and then Uncut came on at one. Nah, that, Uncut came on way later than one. Okay, maybe it was two. Like three. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> but whatever time it came on, <laughs> nigga, it's yin and yang. Yeah, totally, that's the yeah. that's the point it's of it all. And so now, I, me and my homeboy who work for a record label, we had this discussion. He was like, "You don't feel like there's a balance?" I'm like, "No, how could you?" I'm like, "It's a balance, but nigga, you gotta go find it. If you're not finding it, the balance isn't promoted anymore. That the balance isn't on the same spectrum anymore." You have to be actually seeking the balance. You have to be one of those people that uh, just want the balance for yourself. So you go look for it type shit. That's definitely the difference. That's a, that's a fact. Yeah. But we're going to say, all right, the most tragic dream was definitely Virgil. We're going to stand up. That was disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm saying? The worst, you admit, the worst nigga, the worst year ever is definitely going to your man Travis guy. He had a spark when he started, but now it's definitely garbage. You know what I'm saying? Sorry for you, nigga. Mm-hmm. Who was the most egregious police murder this year? Who 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 was the saddest body in the police day? Because the police is this this is so fucked up now that because police catch multiple bodies every year, so we wonder who's the worst body they caught. Like who's the one that's most most fucked up? You know it's, what I'm it's all fucked up, but I think you know we would all agree is is Dante, the light skin nigga. Yeah, we we hate to see light skin niggas get murdered. Cause they would, they never do anything wrong. They're such good people. Oh my god! <laughs> Ugh. I, I, look, I don't even know what I'm classified as, but whatever. But you know, it, it's just. I feel like we the same color. Am I, nah, I'm darker than you. Nah, I'm darker. Oh yeah, we we're we're comparing our complexion. Right now. <laughs> I'm darker. Than you. But you know what's funny? I'm like a, I'm all colors. I got like the inside oh, of my arm. It's like it. yellow. Yeah, but anyway, but no, but on all you know, all jokes aside, it was it was just. It's just sad that this shit keep happening. Dark, light, black, black, light, 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 black, whatever. Just across the board that it keeps happening. And I, it goes back to the fact that our government, our police system, all of that shit is these secret societies. Oh, shit. Fraternal brotherhoods? That. All right. <laughs> all okay. of it. You know, we're going to call it what it is. Um, And... The police is just a cover-up of these brotherhoods that are were founded on the principles of killing black people. Keep these niggas in line. Keep these niggas in check. You gotta know that. And if if you don't, if people don't see that, yeah, you're blind. Shorty, that body them said, "Yo, I thought I had my taser in my hand. I ain't know." And, and that's a, and, and we so let's let's dissect that. When you work, when you work, that's like if you're a surgeon and you use the wrong equipment or whatever. Yeah. That's malpractice. All day. You going to jail immediately. You're getting sued. Sued. Heavy. You know what I'm saying? When you think about workers' comp. Yeah. So why is it that you got workers' comp, you got malpractice, but then when it comes to you as a person of authority, where you have literally the power of life and death in your hands. Yeah. 
you can have that level of just nonchalant. Oh, I I accident. I I didn't know the difference. Anyone anyone that's ever gripped a loaded pistol and a fucking taser knows it's two different. It's two totally Rich. different things. I just so a, I just a got taser my- don't have a pistol grip. A pistol with bullets in it is way fucking heavier than a fucking taser. You know what I'm saying? Like a taser don't even have a pistol grip. You don't. None of them just. They don't just. Don't, they're not the same thing. None of it. Like I, here, y'all. I'm suburban girl, Richardson, Texas. Right. I just. I got my first gun a couple of years ago. When you cock back the gun, it's it's hard. Yeah. I remember the first time I shot a gun, I actually cut myself <laughs> because it was so hard to. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you can't tell me that you made a mistake. Exactly. If you make a mistake, you need to be in jail or a mental hospital forever. Exactly. Exactly. So that's why I say the Constitution is fucked. And this world that we live in is fucked. That all the shit is archaic. And that we need to start over. And that's why when we think about, you know, I'm going to go ahead and pivot us. Because the biggest comeback, the biggest win for this year for me is black women. And the reason why the reason bleh, the reason why this connects is because I feel like women, black women, have the power to really, if we were given the power, yeah, to really change the way this world looks because we have been suppressed the most, we have been the most disrespected, but at the end of the day, we're the most empowered. Black women are winning. We didn't. We didn't. T- if a white man dealt with everything that we have faced, black women wouldn't even exist. If we had the same character as these yeah. privileged as weak as white men. Real talk. That's real talk. So we're 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 in our winning season right now, <laughs> and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Nah, I respect it though. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. I ain't going to call y'all niggas a comeback because I'm like, yo, where did black joints ever go? Well, you know what I mean? That's whatever. But that's within our culture, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm so immersed in my own shit that I don't even be knowing. I'm so out of tune with the crackers and what they got going on that I'll be like, huh? But I get it, though. I definitely get it. But think about it. Even when you think about the world, black men have always, not all, but I'm, excuse me. I didn't mean to say always, but black men were the ones who were like, Desirable. Who? Black men. And when oh. I said, look, hear me out. Um, desirable in the fact that, oh, yeah, as an athlete, as an athlete. They're getting murdered if a white bitch like Yeah, yeah, yeah. That too. I get that. But what <laughs> I'm so saying smart. is that black women have never been seen as the sex icon. Black women in uh, the pri- in the in uh, the the mainstream, right? I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even, you know, a woman wasn't even given, black women were not even given the, um, the privilege of being that person. So whether it came uh, to being an right. athlete, you know, whatever. Yeah. So now black women are being able to give that. People are seeing us now. Ah, uh, copy. Yeah, that's real. You got all these black women entrepreneurs who are out here killing it and doing it with a certain finesse and just these some sexy ass black women out here who have brands that are making millions. Yeah, fact though. I respect it. I respect it. I like what y'all niggas got going on. I ain't gonna lie. I like the black women constituency right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I like what's going on with them. You know what I mean? They doing their thing. They say a lot of dumb shit, but fuck it though. I mean, you gotta deal with this. You know what I mean? Everything ain't perfect. It is what it is. Everybody say dumb shit. Everybody say dumb shit. So, hey. People gonna say I said dumb shit, and I don't yeah, care. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here for black women and they whole, you know what I mean? They whole, uh... What's the word? Like resurgence and chest being like, even like we talk about earlier with the whole insecure thing, how they ended the show, like with all like a happily ever after. I was like, when I watched it, I was like, you know what? I like that for black women. I was like, you know what? Like a happily ever after, black women succeeding, going out with a bang vibe. You know what? Damn it, they deserve that shit. Man, fuck Shout out to y'all. No, but well, fuck what they deserve. That's that's my life. Like when I saw Insecure, me and my friends, yeah, and that's what's not. That shit is not. That's more, and that yo, you know what's more funny? That's actually more regular than anything else. Like, like when you like for the reality that we live in, going to black school and shit like that. Like I know a bunch of clock joints all doing great elite shit. They all fucking y'all all doing fucking 
ill shit, spelling women, all type of women is all doing really above and beyond extra shit that nobody has ever done before type shit as, as far as black women go. And it doesn't really get spoken on. It's pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty fucking crazy. But my best comeback goes my man Kanye, man. Boom! Best fucking comeback, yo. Oh, my yo. God. Best God. comeback, man. Where the sound effects? Kanye. Wah, wah, wah. Kanye, man. He just came from MAGA hat, white bitch. Now he's outside. Kanye, man. You, you're like, seriously. <laughs> how can you say all the things that you just said about Kanye. real niggas and... He had the best comeback. You know... It, it, it's just I just get disgusted with how we're handling Kanye, and the reason why I say that because this is a brother who obviously needs so much help, and the way we rally and cover him, I don't believe I don't like cult shit. And he to me, what he did was a cult. And then that music I listened to, you know, actually I ain't gonna lie, I didn't really Donda. allow myself to listen to Donda. Donda. No, 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 no. The Donda, <laughs> Donda, Donda, cult, cult. Nah, yo. Yeah, you a hater, son. My son okay. Kanye came back hard, yo. I ain't gonna lie. I never thought he was gonna be able to come back. He got niggas. He got people really fucking with him. I didn't think it was possible. Like I gotta. I can't believe y'all niggas was flocking <laughs> <laughs> to, to the concert. I yo, had my people that I love. I'm no not gonna lie. No I definitely went to the to the you list did. of this shit. Okay, yeah. how did you feel when you left? I felt bamboozled and hoodwinked. <laughs> well, stand up. You gonna stand up? I was bamboozled. I was hoodwinked. It don't matter. He ain't do shit. He ran around in circles like a dickhead. But he had a lit comeback for him. You know what I mean? Like he got over on me one time. He got over on some niggas like three times. Yeah. But for him, super lit comeback. Comeback. Drake concert. Recreation. Rec- reconciliation. Ill interviews. He's back on the scene. He's running around with new Instagram freak bitches. You know what I mean? My man Kanye is back again. You know what I mean? I need He's cursing niggas. again. He did a freestyle with Future at Rolling Loud. He was cursing. I mean, Kanye's fucking back. You know what? What I, you know what? <laughs> My pastor used to say, <laughs> "Don't try to rationalize with irrational people." Yeah. I am not going to lose another brain cell. Try to rationalize with Kanye. I'm <laughs> not, because if I try to go down that rabbit hole, I'm be just as crazy as him. I ain't gonna lie. It's hard to rationalize with Kanye fans because we literally. It got like, I right, Kanye got four screws loose, we got three and a half. Jeez. We right here with him. I ain't fucking we with fucking it. With I him. ain't doing it. So I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna let y'all Back be. My nigga. Guess yeah. who's going to jail tonight? Right. Guess who's going to fucking jail tonight? Kim should be going to jail for fucking with that weird white nigga. Well, that's another whole, whole oh, story. Oh, okay. Yep. That's a whole other story. Yep. Yep. Well, who, who, who's the best cuffing of the year? Who's the best relationship? Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. What they do? They do nothing special? Oh, you mean? You like, know what they did? They kept they shit under wraps. Kept it calm. Kept it chill. Kept I, it I love how they moving. I love how the fuck they moving. The way they moving is at a tempo that I don't need y'all in our business. We making our money and we having really good sex. I feel like ASAP is running his shit like a Harlem nigga. Like, yo, bitch, shut the fuck up and get in line. And I'm respecting that. He's doing it in a way though. No, I think he in a way that's making it seem like he she has her own control, but really he's running the show. No, she, like, no. Here's the thing. She loved that though. Let me <laughs> yeah, tell you why she, she loved that. Cause I'm a look. <laughs> my bank account don't look like Rihanna's yet, but yes, I got like. And the reason why I say that is that she got her enterprise, everything that she has going with her portfolio. But you want to reprieve from that. You want to yeah. break from all that. Yeah. So, yeah, when you got all that going on in your, your own business, when you come home to your nigga, you want him to be like, I got you, I got this, and, yeah, I'm running this. He'd be like, oh, God damn, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I, I feel that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I am not a relationship, hashtag relationship goals person because I yeah. think that's weak. Yeah. But if I did have to use that, I would say right now, they're the ones that are winning for me. Yeah, I'm not, damn. I'm trying to think if I'm respecting anybody handle more, cause I ain't gonna lie. All the other relationships, like other than like the super duper married motherfuckers, I don't really like the count super duper married motherfuckers. They life a little different. You know what I'm saying, I feel like Hov's still running his shit. Russell's never running his shit. 
What um, you think about Will and Jada? Because they were a hot oh, topic that's just this an year. It's just absolute embarrassment. I'm disgusted by Will Smith. He embarrassed. He emba- I'm 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 suffering from secondhand embarrassment from having respect for Will Smith. Like I don't even want to go. Like I'm so disgusted by that whole situation. You know what I'm saying? That shit is all bad. All bad. But here's the thing. I feel like what Will and Jada got is what niggas been doing to bitches for years. Man, do I give a fuck? I know that it, it I fucks up your pride, don't it? Flying fuck. Oh, but it makes me feel good. About <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck about women getting get back or oh, when niggas been doing this to women forever, blah blah blah. I don't give a fuck. What I care about right this second is a king, a role model. Man, Will Smith being tore down and destroyed and flambeed in the eyes of the public. And, I, yeah, he's no longer any type of goal of mine. This shit is disgusting. I'm just, I'm just sad and be. Will Smith, as corny as he is, is one of the realest niggas right here. You want to know why? Because oh, he is not allowing anything. And this goes back to what we talked about earlier. He don't give a fuck about what y'all saying, what y'all think, what y'all posting. He's like, that right there to me is the ultimate level of strength. Because he, from what I can see, is living his best fucking life regardless of whatever y'all niggas think. That nigga might be gay, B. And he might be shit. I'm and good. I don't whatever, know what whatever they put like this, whatever they have for their dynamics. But this goes back to what we're talking about in terms of relationship and freedom. Niggas. Whatever they have, they have the freedom to enjoy each other and enjoy life at the same time. Man, I just, I get it. Look, I would want nothing but to have a one-sided, open relationship, right? But what that nigga... I, one-sided? Oh, please believe he getting his. <laughs> no, when I say one-sided, I mean, me. I mean for me. Yeah. Like, he should, like, but... I just can't get jiggy with this that whole setup. Like he's letting that bitch run rampant, and I just cannot get down with letting my bitch run rampant. Like his whole handling is terrible. Like, like it don't matter how much bitches you get if your wife is running rampant, all your whole wrangling and all your your your, your whole energy is fucked up. Your your wife is running rampant, and it's, y'all, everything is y'all need. Up. You know what? Y'all really need to dissect this. Because you know as a nigga, that's, that can't be the case where she is running circles around him and he ain't doing anything. So to your point, it don't he, matter. he probably got a little, he probably, he might have a boyfriend. It, oh, ew. I mean, you said it, I ew. mean. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, fuck it. This one, he got to be gay. Like, she got to have something on him. Like, for her to be able to run this rampant and say all these things and not receive no, no, like, bro, you haven't choked this bitch yet? Like, what are you doing? I just feel she got dirt on him. I don't know what's going on. I, I'm, I no longer respect Will Smith. It's, I'm moving on. I got to move along. All right. I just. What's next? Tell me what's next. We going to get into, all right. <laughs> Who's the best Vanessa of the year? Yo, it got to be Jada Pinkett. <laughs> like. It gotta be her. Like, the way that she really done finesse this shit and done told the world of her taking dick and is somehow still married and, and they're still finessing. Is she still just throwing, dropping dirt bombs on my, my son, Will, every other month? <sighs> Man, I got a whole... I'm about to throw you off with this one. It ain't her. It's Gorilla Glue Girl. This <laughs> homegirl got paid. Nah, she got lit. Bro, let me tell you. She got lit. Don't she, isn't she married now? Doesn't that nigga love her? Homegirl home girl got checks on checks on checks on checks on checks. She got the GoFundMe. She got the following <laughs> off of off of her stupidity. Why would you put Gorilla Glue on your head? Uh, why? But that, that shows the level of like stupidity that she has. But, 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 but. She was a fucking charmer. Yeah. And as a result, she got... She's a thousand there. She was like a pretty joint too. Like she wasn't an ugly person. She's a decent looking chick. Pretty ain't got nothing to do with your mind. No, what I'm saying, like, yeah, like that's part of the reason why people wanted to help her because it's like, oh. She's but that goes back to what we were talking about in terms of like this, um, 
body dysmorphia and this level of perfectionism. She wanted her hair to be so perfect. That she was willing to pour Gorilla Glue on that shit. That she was risking it all and thought that this was a good idea. That's just weird, B. Yeah. So, I feel like she was the, the biggest finesse because she was able to flip the dumbest decision ever. Man, yeah. Nah, you never lied. Damn. That's a fact. If you're gonna flip if you gonna flip a dumbass decision that you damn near ruined your life over and tore and men's called yourself wild mental anguish into a check, yeah, you would definitely finesse. I gotta give it to, I gotta give it to you that You fucking that poisoned bitch. yourself. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Putting that shit on your I gotta your give brain. it to that dumbass bitch. She, yeah. She's a fucking retard, but she bubbled. I ain't gonna hold you. It, <laughs> look, yo. Next though, I just seen I just looked at the I just glanced at the outline and seen the next shit was IG Thottery. Yo, my favorite IG thought bitch, like, she's not really my favorite, but just because I just seen a pop up with Kanye after the Kim joint, Yasmin Lopez, shout out to her. Freak bitch, you'll never go away. Y'all know what? I'm just gonna have to just, Freak I'm bitch. just gonna have to co sign because I don't follow thought shit. <laughs> Yo, I'm so sick of your upstanding, um, <laughs> Black yep. woman queen yep. bullshit. Angela Davis and this bitch. <laughs> I do not follow Thottery and I will not. Angela Davis is a CIA CIA um implant that was that got fin- that finessed us. We're not gonna talk about that though. Yeah, I, I, I do not. No, I'm my own person. I'm not no Angela. I'm not no Martin. I'm not no Harriet. I'm just uh, fucking yeah, Ivy. Uh, all, all black people and black women are gonna get into the fact that Angela Davis was a CIA agent. Well, that's for the next show. All oh, right. That's for the next show. And that, <laughs> that, and you know what else I'm canceling this year? I'm canceling all side bitches. Yes, I'm. What? Oh my God! How dare you? I want I, what? Yes, we're gonna come back. Yo, to, I, I hate side because the the balls of all the side bitches. I was just on my Instagram, y'all, and I saw a side bitch that I hate. You? Yeah, I hate side bitches. Side bitches are literally the lifeblood of society. Like. You know how insurance underwrites everything? Insurance is the underpinning of, of, of society. Side bitches are the next thing to insurance. Side bitches Side don't bitches know their lane anymore. That's what they don't know. They are out here. Oh, I mean, side bitches have all... They got new confidence because they underpinning the, the society. They, they the backbone of America. They not staying side no more. They trying to be front and center. Hey, man. Hey, man. Side bitch. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the technicalities on the side bitches is. But I do know that side bitches is the whole entire backbone of American society. You know what's so crazy? Without side bitches, we would be nothing. Bitches out, Side bitches out here fighting to be the number one second best. Uh, yo, I don't get it Cause I'm like, bitch Once you become my first bitch Now I gotta find a bitch for your spot Ooh. So I don't even know why you would Necessarily want to lose your spot You know what, facts Because it's like If you know what he did to number one Why you really Why would you want to be one? number one? Because that means Once you get promoted He gotta backfill you Oh, dang Yeah Listen, bitch Whenever you get to where you think you want to get to, whenever you think you there, like, now I got to find a new fun bitch. Like, you're no longer fun. You're my bitch. You're no longer fun. And whatever. And a lot of, most of the time, these side girls, they are crazy. And so when it comes to the niggas, I'm like, bruh, you signing up to have crazy as number one? See, before Mm -hmm. you had a little control over her. Yeah. Now when you make her number one, Oh, you're ruining yourself. Yeah, I mean, as a nigga, I would sug- I would advise every nigga in the world to never, ever, ever move they side bitch up a rank. Never. She's side bitch one, two, three, or four. Never number, never main bitch. You know what I mean? Don't you ever raise side bitch to main bitch. Don't right. you do it. I'm and that means you. don't impregnate that bitch. Because the moment you get her pregnant. Yeah, I. You boom. Done if you impregnate side bitch before main bitch, you're fucked. Now you have an all star, all time, all league baby mama. You know what I mean? And that's not like never your wife, never the mother of your children. You have an all time 
baby mama. You don't want that. You know what I'm saying? You got to have your shit lined up. Throw the seed in your main bitch first, the mother of your children. Accidental baby, side bitch, baby mama. You know what I'm saying? But if the mother of your children was first, side bitch, baby mama, got to be in check. She already know it's a mental thing. Man, if I was a nigga, I would never get the side chick pregnant. Like it's I accidentally nah, accident. Nah, you getting caught, you getting lost in the sauce. Like you need to figure that shit out because the moment you get her pregnant, I don't want that type of craziness in my life. It's I women's want rights. You can't pick, kick bitches down the steps. I'm not saying do that. I'm yes, just you saying did. you. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, you need to either strap it up or get a vasectomy. Whoa! This broad is. Walking. You what? Whistle, whistle, whistle. I know whistle? the best sex is probably like no condom. I get it. Whistle, whistle, who's a? And a vasectomy, yes. Y'all a what? Listen, y'all that thing still work the same. Niggas is not for one. Niggas is not using condoms with their favorite side bitch. Impossible. I know. I know. Who? I know. Why would a nigga ever do that? And why would a nigga ever get a whistle, whistle, whistle? I can't even say the word. I'm not, not even saying that shit. But why not? Why would I snip my yaminskis? No one said you gotta snip your dick. <laughs> Damn! Nah, but you snipping y'all meanery inside your Oh my god, do you not understand how many snips we get with our vagina? Nah, we don't care. There but is we don't so care. much going on down there. Yo. Embrace. See, once again, y'all y'all fuck up by thinking we give a fuck about what y'all go through. And, and look, come come to our side. Come to the, I ain't gonna no, call it the dark side. No. Come to our side and just embrace getting a little, you know, a little snip, a little nut that that. No. No, we'll never embrace anything going on on y'all's side. We don't give a fuck about and what y'all do. That's why y'all are here with a bajillion that's one fucking thing. kids, and women, then y'all end up like deal mix. Women, you have to know <laughs> that men never give a fuck about what y'all do. And that's through. how you end up like deal mix. Okay, with all these DMX kids. Deal mix has a strong family that loved him, and he's resting in heaven beautifully. Fuck that. Yeah, that's part of the reason why he was <laughs> on them drugs. Okay, the stress. Okay, stress will take you out. He's slipping his fall. Stress will take you God out. God damn it. God damn it. But that was funny. I think it was hilarious. Yo, all right. Oka okay, Osha. Oh, all right, which one we gonna do next? We are gonna do which one's the oh shit? It's a whole change. It's a whole switch up. What's the most? What's the most lit country for niggas this year? The whole lit country vacation. What was the illest destination? Everybody went to Tulum. They niggas rate to them. I ain't gonna hold you. Everybody went to I ain't went to Tulum this shit. I, I went to. Everybody went to Tulum this shit. <laughs> you know what? And what's fucked up is that I learned about Tulum before it even became this like hot destination spot. You know, I learned about Tulum, oh my god, probably like five, six years ago in terms of like the greatness of Tulum. Y'all niggas made a ghetto. Yeah. Oh yeah, niggas nigga rides it up crazy. Wow out. Hashtag wild Tulum. Out. I'm not gonna lie. I never knew what to. I never heard of Tulum a day in my life. That I was in. I was in fucking prison, and the fucking um the nigga bucks. I got the Nipsey Hussle album. I got Nipsey Hussle album, and the nigga was he was on the first the first song he was rapping about Tulum. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Da, da, da. So then when I got out, I looked it up. I, I, I'm like, okay, this was going on. Then apparently all the every other black nigga heard about it too. Cause as soon as the EBDs and the pandemic chest came, that's where they went. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, say no more. I ain't trying to be funny because here's the thing. So Tulum trips have slowed down, if you notice. Just use a Tulum? I'm just saying, have you noticed in the past since the pandemic money has slowed up, the Tulum trips have slowed up? Oh, everything has slowed up. Oh, the stunting right. has slowed down. Oh, all right. Yeah, all the all the PPP oh, money. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just want y'all to know my my yacht dot photo for twenty one came after the PvP was over. I'm just letting anybody know. I just want to let that anybody know that. Cause y'all had a lot of yacht dot photos. Oh. And I was jealous, B. I ain't gonna hold you. Bruh, they were not yeah. The yacht dot photos consisted of the yacht, the new bodies. All day. The bags. All day. Oh, and the and the bundles. <laughs> oh, the bundles were the in starbless. Were, the, the weaves were longer than ever. <laughs> but what's crazy about the bodies is them shits did not last long. Yeah. Nigga, you can't get your body done and then think you could just eat everything. Man. <laughs> you throwing money away. I seen too <laughs> many of those. Like, yo, now your face is big and you yeah, I mean shit is not shit is shaky. You got the lipo, you rearranged some shit, and then you went and ate fried chicken in Azul for four months. Now you look crazy. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You didn't get in the gym after the work. It didn't 
fuck was we doing? Yeah, it was weird. So what I was saying about Tulum is that Tulum is actually, and here I am on my spiritual nigga shit, but Tulum is a very spiritual place. OD. Like, I didn't know that. And But see, that's what attracted me to Tulum. Yeah. So when I learned about Tulum, you know, six years ago, my friend went, it was all about the Reiki and the yoga and the meditation because I am a yogi. Yeah. And so then when it was like all the ghetto found out about it, I was like, why are y'all even going? And even when I went to Tulum, I went on a very remote resort where I was, I stayed in a tent. Yeah. So I don't even know what everybody else experienced, yeah. but mine was a very spiritual thing. Like I, I went to Mexico the other day, like a month ago or so for my birthday. I didn't, I didn't go, I didn't go to go to Tulum. I went to a whole another part, but I was on, in that whole Kentown Roof shit, right? So mm-hmm. then I knew some people that was out there. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna take a cab out to Tulum. Fuck it. I go, I go to Tulum. I didn't know it was set up like that. I, I could not. It took me like five hours to even find who the fuck I came to find. There's no streets. There's no like. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's no like yo pull up on twenty first, twenty third street. Like it's it's confusing as fuck. So I'm, I'm I walked around the beach for a while. I, mean, I couldn't find who the fuck I came to find. Like I, I was looking for a whole group of people. I couldn't find them for a while. I went. I stumbled into a um, a restaurant for dinner, and like it was trippy shit going on at that restaurant. Mm. I'm talking about like I was on the beach. They were out there burning crazy, crazy billows of smoke. I think it was incense. Mm-hmm. Um, 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 was it sage? Sage, incense. They were burning the mad shit. Yes. They were chanting shit. They were yes. like, I was, I, I was literally eating dinner inside of a whole spiritual thing. You know what I'm saying? And then like, I was only nigga. So after I ate, I got the fuck out of there just in case I didn't know they were about to sacrifice some shit or what. I, oh my God. As a black nigga, sometimes shit gets, gets a little too chanty, a little too crazy. Just want to get up out of there. Just be safe. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. So, you surely, you probably would have like met your like higher self. You probably, like they probably would have given you your whole kind of like birth chart reading. It would have yeah, been, yeah. You, you never know. But as a nigga, I, I get looked it. around. You I was like, only, I'm out of here. I was the only black person there. Yeah. And I stumbled onto the, I literally stumbled onto the restaurant. I had no idea where I was. The people chanting, there's smoke billowing everywhere. Oh. I was like, you know what? My, my you were kill. blessed. You were, <laughs> you didn't even know it. You yeah, were blessed. Yeah. yeah. Like, like cause, so I walked through, so I walked through the front of that same restaurant. It was all type of trippy, mystical, big ass shit everywhere. I took pictures of a bunch of shit. It was, it was dope, actually. It was really, yeah. really fly. You know what I'm saying? I found my people. We ended up going back to tell you got wasted and shit. But then I got, I got, I went to the ruins the next day. Like, you know what? This Tulum shit is dope. But, like, yeah, like you said, it's like, it's not for turning up. It's really no. not for that. It's really like for some deeper spiritual shit. You know what I'm saying? Then you shoot back up the highway and go turn up. You know yes. what I'm saying? Like, that's really what it's for. I mean, shit, it's what you, it takes what, an hour to get to Tulum from the airport? Like, it's not, it's longer, not, e- longer than yeah, that. it's not easy to get there. Yeah. So that's why I was like, when all these people were, I'm like, why are y'all going? Because I, okay. I, I was staying in probably the Carmen, probably like halfway between, um, Cancun and Tulum, yeah. and, it, and it took me a good forty-five minutes to get to Tulum from Cla- mm-hmm. from Playa from Playa de Carmen. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that shit was different. Tulum's different, definitely a different different situation. Very weird. Other than what was the most lit city for niggas? What was the most lit brand for niggas? You feel like what was I, what was niggas brand this year? What was niggas what was niggas championing? <laughs> You mean like the big brands? Anything. Or? What was niggas championing this year? Because I know, I know when niggas, niggas what? <laughs> I'm going to hear what you guys say. Because I, I got one. Because I know niggas love, these niggas love this Tell shit. Tell me what you thinking and let me, let me, let me. Niggas love Marinata. Dior, Dior. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> if I saw another like Dior shoe. Back. If I see another nigga in that Dior puffer jacket, oh, oh my, my god. god, you niggas is killing that fucking jacket, bro. Yeah, that shit is done. That was definitely a good one. Um, you know, it's, it's funny, niggas just love brands. Niggas love a good monogram. They love an emblem. <laughs> niggas love an emblem. <laughs> you know, I need a symbol on me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Niggas love a monogram setup. Niggas love a good emblem. Niggas need vibes. Yeah, you know, I think uh, the Fendi boots was a really big one on the yeah. chicks, you know what I'm saying? I think you're right. The Dior was definitely killing the game. And it just came out of nowhere, kind of. Because I feel like Dior, Dior was not known 
for being that flashy in it's terms cause, of- it's because of the star the creative director they got Kim Jones okay Kim Jones known for styling black shit and she put she put that nigga rich vibe on the Dior like yo I'm gonna give you mad, mad monograms heavy logos yeah she know what niggas love you know niggas love a lifestyle niggas, niggas love a lifestyle niggas piece. A ball. yeah when it comes to liquor music and fashion we want a we ball. are jewelry we are a sucker we niggas just want a ball always <laughs> you know i think this year this was the year of the drip big drip you know love with a lip bitch yeah this was the year of the drip um so yeah that that's what um I, I yo you got little niggas in high school with thousand dollar jeans i could never fathom no shit like that when i was a child b i think it's just kids people are here literally blowing their entire year year paycheck on one pair of jeans. Niggas ran through the whole, they whole PPP and had nothing to show for but a closet for Louis and Dior. Shit's disgusting. And you risking going to jail. Was it worth it? You know, there were there were so many people this year who went to jail. And people are not talking about it. But they got real charges oh, yeah. for PPP. Like, alright, see, I come from the days when, like, niggas looked at scams like, yo, we do this shit because it's a slap on the wrist. Like, Niggas have to know, like, scams are no longer a slap on the wrist. Like, they've changed the laws. Like, scams are, they play niggas under the jail for scams now. It's not the, it's not how it used to be. You could easily do 15, 20 years behind scams. You, it, that wasn't the case before. But you know why that is. Because before the scams were using the white people doing oh, yeah. these, you know, once, these, once these, niggas, these once white niggas, collar the, crimes. Yeah. But now they peep that, oh, black folks doing it? Yeah. Oh, nigga, give them time. Throw the book at them motherfuckers. Yeah. You already know the vibe. Yeah, that that was the differentiator for sure. Yeah. Is that we doing it? So, um, so yeah, you you gotta be. Uh, it is crazy to your point. Like it's kids with the drip now. Like yeah. five year olds. A part of that is the is the mothers and shit throwing and, and, and niggas and what up the mother the the parents I should say that see this shit on Instagrams and shit to that nature and want to keep up and have their kids and shit. They gonna grow out of in two seconds and fucking shit just weird, man. Anyway. Niggas is out of hand. Y'all niggas love this bullshit. Who is your Who is your shorty of the year? Who is your favorite woman this year? Who was I obsessed with? Oh, see, the thing is, the person that I was obsessed with probably isn't even popular like that. Damn, I'm trying to think. Who was I obsessed with when it comes to, to a woman? SZA or some shit? Like oh you God, like no, 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 no. is cool, <laughs> but that, 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 no, 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 no. I, I'm not, I'm not tripping on her at all. You know, I think I might have to go back in terms of just in terms of like the year of like holistic, just like doing a shit. Who hill or something? No, I was gonna say Megan. I was gonna, you know, Megan who? The stallion. No, why? Let me tell you why. Cause we didn't talk about this part. It ain't got nothing about her fucking knees. Homework got her degree this year. She did get her degree. Cause I cause you I ain't gonna lie, you just brinded my gears just now. I know I did. And then but then I forgot she did get her degree. She did get her And degree. I wasn't trying to use her as a default, but I was like, to not say that. And you- she walked with everybody and she like really fuck with her folks. I fuck, I respected that. She and I'm from, and from Texas, like yeah. she repped her hometown. Yeah. She we to go back to that yin and yang. You can't be mad at that. Like, so as a young girl, if I'm in high school right now, yeah. I'm thinking Bitch, I need to be... So, my word that I love or my kind of title is corporate thug. I've always liked to consider myself a corporate thug. And so, I like the fact that she was able to show like, yeah, I'm out here twerking, grinding, cussing, kicking it, but I'm smart. And I'm I'm accomplishing shit. Yeah. I, you know what? I'm going to be real. Like, I was a big Megan champion and uh and i'm still i still fuck with her it's still tough because I, I i like what she represent and i like what she be into but like the whole this nigga shot me shit yeah like, i'm like uh, uh, you dr- why did you do that uh, you know this nigga didn't shoot you yeah or if he uh, whatever he did he did what i mean if he did something he didn't put a bullet inside your body like you know what i'm saying like you know what? I retract that. Let me, you know, I'm going to bring this. I'm going to bring so that my, shit bothers me. I'm going to bring my woman of the year a little bit closer to home. Um, I'm, I'm going to actually give it to Pinky. Pinky the porn star? Nah, nigga. Pinky who owns Slutty Vegan. Oh, <laughs> my 
my bad. Well, look at look at the ghetto. Look at the ghetto right here. I wish y'all could see my face. <laughs> Disgust. But you can't tell. Nah, like, she's a fucking role model. So, so, Pinky, uh, Pinky is out here moving and shaking so swift. Shout out to her. Pinky out here like she like this. She like the Omicron variant. Okay. <laughs> No, no, no. She's a real role model and she's really moving and she's really doing a lot of dope shit. You know what I mean? Like, she's definitely a role model esque joint for sure. That's a good pick. Because I'm. My bad for Queen. <laughs> let me, let me, let me school this nigga, y'all. Game changer over here. Although I stole the real store the ribby. My bad. My mom. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. And, and what a throwback! Like, is she even even relevant? She's still yeah, like, what is she doing with herself? About, oh my fault! I was about to be ghetto. Like, she's still alive. Like, nah, yeah. yeah, nah. She's definitely changing the whole uh, narrative around the name Pinky. I heard it. Yeah, this look, <laughs> and that, that that people gonna look up and homegirl uh, is gonna be a billionaire on y'all asses, and y'all gonna be like, what the fuck? Cause she's already making millions. Yeah, I, I hope she continue to do good. Good. You know she what I'm is. Saying? Yeah. Keep it rolling. Keep selling that bullshit. Um, nigga of the year. Who's the man of the year? Wait, did you get? Who was your woman of the year? Um, damn. Who was my woman of the year? I'm not going with Pinky, even though I respect what she got going on. Um, somebody hood and get up. Nah, I only promote get upness. Okay. Um. Hmm. Who's my joint of the year? Who really glowed up this year? I ain't gonna lie, I like Mulatto. Ooh. Mulatto did a lot of Mulatto. Okay. Mulatto glowed up this year. Hmm. She did it look good for herself. I like what Mulatto did this year. I like what she did for herself. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's I like what she did for herself. I mean, I could go more businessy. No, no, no. The, you know what I mean? Yeah, I like. Mulatto. I like what can. See, it was Kim K for me until she went Pete Davidson. Like, she was right there. Like, Kim K had it for me until she went Pete, Pete Davidson. What do you mean she had it? Like, as in what? She just went to law school. She's been freeing black men all year. Like, <laughs> she's been freeing niggas all year. Like, my type of bitch. Yeah. But then, she went drugged out white men. I can't get jiggy with that. Hmm. I mean, she did a couple of cool things, and now we're about to give her a woman of the year. Like, yeah. she she is the the reason why self hate is at its highest. Wow, you gonna blame her for self hate? I mean, that's she, crazy, she's though. The, I mean, she's the role model for it. She's the leader for it. When you think about body dysmorphia and shifting how you look in terms of body augmentation, Jeez. hell yeah, she's the leader in that. She's the if we gonna say you gotta give it, you gotta give it on both sides. If we saying that, all right, oh. This person is out here with the best albums, the best music. They're man of the year. That bitch own it. She is the reason. She literally took drag makeup and and applied that to herself. And now women are out here applying makeup like a drag queen. A drag queen is a man, a person who was born a man who was now manipulating their face to look like a woman do you not realize the level of makeup that requires and that's the level of makeup that women are wearing because they feel like that's a status of beauty yeah i mean trust me i be frustrated by that shit all the time i never i just never equated it to being her fault but yeah that whole vibe frustrates me no she was the one who dumbass eyelashes these bitches keep wearing all this now that ain't kim i don't know who i don't even know who leads that bitch i can't kiss i can't make out with a bitch without a whole Mm. layer of shit on my face Ew. I never thought about that, but that's gross for y'all. Yeah. And the eyelashes, fun. I'm sure that like that touches your face. It's and not fun. I'm not into it. Ugh. It's not a thing. It's not like what I signed up for at all. And then your pillows in the morning probably have like a whole face on it. <laughs> Damn the pillow, your wall. Your wall that has shit on it. Like you won't get don't get carried away fucking the bitch like your fucking wall that have her face on it your fucking couch fucking shit that have her face on it your fucking <sighs> and you in here you, we need a whole like sponsorship need for, a whole like, damn shout damn, <laughs> wet naps yeah you need right. hella moisty naps <laughs> to get that shit out of, out of everything like yeah it's shit ridiculous man <sighs> man of the year my man of the year 
Kanye, nigga. You ain't know. Y'all ain't know who my man of the year is, man. Kanye, man. I don't give a fuck. Kanye started a school. Kanye fucking did mad shit this year. Kanye be giving money out. Kanye be doing all type of fly shit. Kanye, man of the year, man. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> I be looking at me like, weak. yo, you fucking serious. He's so weak. I'm like, you know what? I feel like the only way I can come back from that is been like, you know what? Fuck it. If Kanye is your man of the year, LeBron is my man of the year, then. LeBron is unarguable, like, but LeBron stinks right now. Lakers is un- under. I just think I none- and see that's why he the man of the year because this has nothing to do with the Lakers as a whole. This has everything to do with him as a a leader, as a businessman, as a family man, as just an overall role model in the schools and the stand in this like what he's standing for and what yeah. he what he embodies, which then encourages not only his teammates but kids underneath him. Like the fact now that we are in a place where kids who are going to HBCUs I mean well students are now seeing HBCUs desirable in terms of when it comes to athleticism um, so yeah LeBron I feel like has, has been a, a game changer and in looking out for the community that is fucking crazy that you just gave LeBron credit for HBCU. No, 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 no. Not, not giving. Okay, that, that that did get Manoush, but I'm you not saying that nigga a lie. He no, 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 no. What? what I'm saying is that when you when you have a person like LeBron who opens up the gate to yeah. certain conversations and giving people access and and, and having the uncomfortable yeah. conversations, that's empowering to other people. Yeah. All right. You know what? It's hard to it's hard to argue LeBron. I'm gonna let you cook. You got it. But I'm gonna. Ch- I need to. Based on what you said, I need to change my nomination for nigga of the year, man of the year. My bad guys. My 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 nigga of the year is Deion Sanders. I Ooh, like what he's doing over there. Ooh, that is such a good. I one. like what he's doing over there. Deion yes. is my nigga of the year. B. I like what he's doing over there. He's literally like you said. He's literally changing the narrative on what it is to be an athlete in an HBCU. He changing up the whole situation. Like they, they literally coming out with new laws about players and and they, this um states and what they can do for their players and they um the NIL deals because Dion is getting the best niggas from these states and their schools and they're like now they're scrambling. You know? What I'm oh, saying? they mad. They're they, mad. They are so mad. And it's like wow, y'all have y'all have. It's only like a few too. It's not even yeah. like a surplus of numbers. Yeah. But they, but they, but if you don't look at that and realize the power, yeah, man, you are blind. If they get mad about a onesie twosie, yeah, what did they already know what that means? They, man, listen, the crackers know more. Than, the crackers understand it much, much better than the majority of black people, that right? So That's yeah. why they get so up in arms if one thing slips because they know a fucking pebble turns to a rock turns to a boulder they know that shit you know what i'm saying right they know this shit they could feel it that's why they that's why crackers have always their whole life work has to be has been to be on niggas next to kill still and destroy yeah. i.e what is that that well, that is the devil you know like i'm not saying that they're evil you gotta be on niggas necks mm-hmm. in order to, to stifle out any type of available breath and and, and 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 any type of anything that's why they do it so anytime you see a nigga getting any type of leeway you gotta snuff with that shit out that's just how they think it is what it is Whew. we got a lot to say on this shit it's been a lot going on this episode B. we got this whole year but it's a lot going on we getting into our final Yamiski. What we all set, Ivy. Yo, well, when we get into we all set, what, 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 what you been all set on? Oh yeah, meaning, what have you not? What are you not jacking? What is your overall theme thing that you're just not fucking with this shit? Filters. <laughs> and, and let me uh, let me unpack that. Let me unpack that. Niggas, brothers, bitches black women people (laughs) y'all are out here filtering everything and now it's gotten to a point where not only y'all filtering you've been looking at yourself on the there are stats behind this yeah literally there is medical research behind the fact that body dysmorphia face dysmorphia is so fucking 
real that people are going to doctors because they don't like how they look on a Zoom picture. Damn. It's like I can, you know, we can pull it. They are like, I don't, because of the angles. And it's like, as technology is evolving, when it comes to mental health, when it comes to self-love, we're not, we're not pouring into people and giving them that fulfillment that they need. And so that's why I was like, I know it seems so like, kind of like soft, like, oh, I'm over filters, but people, they're like, oh, it's fun. No, it's not. It's not fun until it's not. And it's not. I don't even know why that shit became a thing. Like, where the fuck did that shit even come from? Because they felt beautiful. There's some girls you said they fil- won't even filters used to be just like a little like little different red hue or some shit yeah. like it should be like yeah. a little shade yeah. or like, like a yeah. little then like, when did it become like changing features and whole different things and th- it, filters got weird at, at some point. Oh, it, it has gotten so bad that people's entire Instagram post is consisting of a filter, and then people and I know this sounds crazy, but they won't even come out. I know people, I have not seen them physically, and it ain't got nothing to do with COVID. It's yeah. everything to do with the fact that they're like, I can't live up to that filter. That. Damn, that's crazy. And that's real. Like, people have said to me, like, oh, I can't take a picture with you because, like, I need this filter and you don't. Damn. And I'm fuck? like. I need. This. And I'm like, you to don't. Say, to even say I need this filter is crazy. But I'm like, you don't need to it. To say you need a filter, to say I need. I, just to, to use the word need and filter in the same sentence is nuts. Like, come, yo, that's crazy. You have to understand, like, you, you're not understanding that, that you're already bugging. Like, yo, why? you don't need what? And it's fun to have fun with it. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'll do my little my little filters, my little Christmas thing with the little Santa Claus, Santa Claus hat and, and beard. That's fun. That's jovial. But when you get into a place where literally every single picture, you got a filter, every video is a filter, you, filter, you have lost the love that you have for yourself. So I'm over it. I wish it would go away. And I just want people to embrace who they are and feel good in who they are. And that's that. Yeah, I feel sorry if you scumbags to think you need a filter. Maybe kind of ugly, whatever. Anyway, damn. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. I'm all set. I'm 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 solely over this shit, B. I'm all set on the fucking internet grifters and motherfuckers selling courses and your little fucking give me half the information and tell me you got the eighty five dollar course for your real estate or your oh. this or your that or your stocks or your crypto. <laughs> you gonna teach me this? You gonna... man, you bum ass niggas. That have literally never made a dollar doing any of this shit that you claim to be a guru about. You summon courses and you... It's just so fucking fake. You new internet grifter niggas be. You niggas is bums. It's just disgusting. I, and I'm so sick of it. I'm, like, I hate that shit more than anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, There's only a certain select few people that should be even allowed to have a course to, for sale. You know what I'm saying? And all them people have track records in their industry and are well known. You motherfuckers. Like, you cannot be 24 and pop out talking about you influencing or you're teaching and this that with you have no fucking experience in your field, dog. Like, y'all niggas is talking bullshit, bro. I can't get with that shit. And I'm feel I feel sorry for every single fucking person y'all niggas have drifted on and finessed and gotten to pay y'all money, yo, that ass. I agree. It's, it's, everyone is following this model, and that's it. It has nothing to do with experience at all. None. And it's like I'm all about. Don't get me wrong. I, I get it. Just because you're younger doesn't mean that you're not smart or as experienced as someone who's been in the game for a long time. But there is, at a, at a certain but, extent. You don't have the experience. I was just about to say, just the, the, you can't say that because the literal meaning of experience is time, time. and time in a field. If you're young, mm. you cannot have the mm. fucking experience, my nigga. Period. You're 22. You don't have it. You don't. And that's, and that's where it's like both parties is more so about unity, right? Not to be all kumbaya-ish, but the reality is that as a younger person, you are savvy on newer trends. You're savvy on new technologies and new ways. But then that's where you collaborate. I know you don't like old people, Rich, <laughs> but that's where you come in with the wisdom, right? And yeah. how can we work together to like make something really powerful? But I, I, I agree with you. Uh, to piggyback off of that, it's filters. 
It's these courses and it's these fucking algorithms. <laughs> Instagram, you have taken my joy away because now I don't even get to see the shit that I really want to see because of your crazy algorithm. You're listening yeah. to my phone, so then you figure that that's what I want to see. No, it's I don't. Weird, because then you got like, like, my, like even the simplest of of vibes, like a club promoter. Nigga post is flyer. I seen it two days later. Two days? What you mean? I pick up my phone and it's there. <laughs> and I don't need two days. Nah, I'm just saying, like, you never know what you're going to see. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, the, for, for motherfucker trying to get their shit off, it's like, the algorithms are throwing everything off. But you know, nobody knows what the fuck is happening anymore. Bro. Right. Shit is crazy. But, thank y'all for tapping in. Ivy, thanks for checking in. Thank thanks, you so much for having for coming, me. Thanks for coming here and, and, and doing this episode with me. I had a great time. I hope you had it one too. It was good. Thank you so much, Rich. This was super fun. I Word. hope you have me back. Go follow her. What's your at name? What's your at My uh, follow me at Ivy Number One. That's the letter I, the letter B. Spell out number N U M B E R One. We're gonna get her. A and I. then, of course, and then uh, you can follow my business page, um, Black Ivy League. Yeah. Um, make sure just so y'all can know, I, I'm the founder and CEO of Ivy League Marketing. Uh, we promote support small black owned businesses with business development and marketing so go follow support us we appreciate you we got a lot of great things coming in 2022 nah, she, yo, she's wow professional so now it's fire <laughs> yo I, I only wish my elevator speech was half of that good B thank you yeah you know I mean thank you but you know me I'm around like subscribe tap in we're all set thanks for listening you already know what well,